Hi you guys and welcome back to Tantric Tuesday. So I'm so excited to share with you today the concept of tit for tat. Getting out of that cyclical negativity pattern groove in our life and leveling up our relationships, our connections by getting out of the bondage of this tit for tat concept. In It's ingrained everywhere in our lifestyle right now it's Tuesday half the Tuesday happens to fall on Christmas Eve and I see it all around me with the holiday the Christmas holiday you get sucked into this gift giving season now it's now some people just even call it the gift giving season <laughs> and there's this expectation and that's what tit for tat is about it's an expectation it's I will do this for you and you will do this for me or I will give this gift for you and I'm really giving it for something that I'm going to get in return or for the sensation or feeling that I get in return and there's always this underbelly of expectation in our giving and it makes it so that we have as a society grossly underdeveloped our capacity to receive to be receptive and to be open and it's so ingrained in the hierarchy of our marital structure from the time when women were chattels and you know I'll give you my daughter and she will give you sons and you will give her a roof over her head or you will go to work and I will stay home and cook the dishes and like it's tit for tat in so many deep underpinnings of our societal structure and our culture and when we can break free from that we recognize unbeknownst to Hollywood I complete me I'm the only one I can count on I'm the only one I need I need to clean up my side of the street and my shit and my expectations because nobody outside me can fill me up can bring me joy can give me security can give me all these things that we expect the other the outside our partners to give us so imagine if you were able to teach your teenage daughter or son at, at the most opportune time that instead of relationships looking like that relationships can look like two people supporting each other on their own individual journeys and together they grow together they bring their strengths to the forefront to help each other level up collectively but mostly individually to learn from each other to grow with each other tit for tatting in a relationship looks like on the daily fundamental level of oh i did the dishes last week so you've got to do this or oh i always go to the grocery store but you never do that or this is my job and that's your job and that's okay if you say you know i'm i'm i don't mind shopping i'll do this and you do that but oftentimes it, i just am in the role and the position where I'm usually the person that shops in. And so I'll just take on that role and do that thing because that's what women do. They do the grocery shopping, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and in terms of gift giving, literal gift giving, there's Christmas, there's anniversaries, there's, there's the holiday Hallmark card of Valentine's epic gift of all love gifts giving holiday. And we're expected to track all of these dates and give gifts. It's an expectation. If it's our anniversary, I will get this gift. I will give you a gift. You will give me a gift. Da -da 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 -da. And from the get-go, our relationship is the biggest gift is the wedding ring. <laughs> Such bullshit. You guys should really research the wedding ring. <laughs> I won't get on a side tangent, but that's a gift of like, oh, I give her this wedding ring. And then you, you can't, well, think about in this day and age getting engaged without a wedding ring. Uh, it's like this quintessential gift of I'm giving you this rock that literally is worthless but I paid thousands of dollars and your expectation of our marriage and outside expectation of our marriage will be tied to how big this rock is that I can give you this gift <laughs> um, so let's get out of that because it's bullshit it's it's so ingrained everywhere you do it with your kids you know if you go to school I'll buy you this if you graduate from college I'll do this when we're in that tit for tat mode whenever we're giving we're never giving just for the sake of giving and we have to realize that once we give that gift it's out of our hands out of our hands i love byron katie you could use her example of whose business are you in once you give a gift it's out of your business how much joy that gift 
gives to that other person, whether they liked it, whether it fits them, whether da, 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 especially with the holidays, like start to look around you when somebody's opening up a present tomorrow on Christmas, um, if you celebrate that and say, oh, what are my expectations? They're gonna love it, smile on their face. I'm gonna feel joy. I was the cool person. I bought the cool gift. Da, 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 da. Me, 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 me. It's all about me. Their joy is all about me. <laughs> but when we move through life without that expectation of that tit for tat, it becomes a giving, an authentic offering and giving that once it's out of our hands, we have, it's out of our business, you guys. It doesn't matter what happens to that gift. It doesn't matter if that person throws it away the next day or turns around and gives it to somebody else or re-gifts it or whatever. It doesn't matter because it's no longer yours. It's your, you're, in your, you're in someone else's business when you give that gift away. <laughs> and if you can get in a place where you can stop right there with all of your expectation once you give that gift or you do that, that nice thing for the person you love without expectation in return, without being in their business if, as to how they receive it, then everything changes. Everything changes from there. And there's authentic, true connection, deeper love, deeper connectivity in those relationships that don't have at their root, what am I going to get if I give this tit for tat? And it frees you up. It frees you up to recognize when you recognize, oh, when I give a gift, it stops here. I'm in somebody else's business. If I worry about how they receive it, then I am no longer living a life of scarcity, of, of lack. That's what that breeds. Fear, scarcity, economy, lack, doubt. Oh, they won't love me if I don't give them this. I better keep up this part of the bargain or they won't do this part of the bargain and it just puts us in that state of lack of scarcity economy of fear of doubt um, of shame of worry of all of those things and then the the other thing that this tip for tat really really does is when we receive because you are receiving a gift from someone if we are open and receptive and expansive this is the yin feminine quality the gift giving would be the yang masculine go 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 give 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 outgoing we're focused all here and and we're not learning to be comfortable and live comfortably in the receiving in the receptive and in the expansive the open the creative this part of our lives to say thank you Wow, that to really to really be able to appreciate and receive without the expectation of, oh, I, you know, when you get really excited, you're like, I love this gift, I love this gift, and then you're like, oh, they spent too much money on it, or oh, I'm not worthy of this, or oh, I don't know if I deserve this, or ah, uh, all that craziness comes up. <laughs> and it's because we haven't primed ourselves to live in that place of receiving being receptive being open and when we're not when we're that dysfunctional in gift giving tit for tat at the form level how can we be how could we be open and receptive more at the subtle levels we're missing so many other layers of just simplicity and joy. Brene Brown talks about this concept all the time that joy is in the ordinary moments. We just think everything has to be extraordinary. <laughs> but joy is in the ordinary moments. And if we're in this tit for tat zone, we're nowhere even near being able to be receptive to just the ordinary moments of joy and happiness and pleasure with our partner and our lover to come through. And the wor last thing I'll leave you with is the worst place this tit for tat kills us is in our relationships in the bedroom, especially in terms of this cultural dynamic we have of, uh, in terms of sex, of, uh, of, oh, the goal is the orgasm, and if I don't get the orgasm, or I don't give her the orgasm, and I need to look like this, and I'm, I'm supposed to be sexy, and he's supposed to be, there's this so much tit for tat going on there of like, I'm obligated to give my partner sex, and if I don't, then they're gonna leave me, and that, 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 that see how deep that thread runs? Do you see how deep that thread runs? <laughs> And it's a concept that runs deep there and deep everywhere else. It's from the get-go, from Sally got the toy when we were five years old and we saw the toy and we didn't even know if we wanted the toy because that's what tit-for-tat does. We don't even know if 
we don't even know our authentic self as to what we want but Sally got this toy and my mom said I can't have this toy and so now I'm jealous of Sally and I want Sally's toy even though I don't even know if I really want Sally's toy we get older we keep up with the Joneses we buy the house we buy the car we get it we like ah, this doesn't satisfy me this doesn't bring me joy this doesn't satiate me what's wrong what's wrong I thought I wanted this I thought I wanted this comparison contrast keep up with the Joneses tit for tat <laughs> so as you look around this holiday season see if you can slip into a few times during this season a moment where one you expected something whether you got it or not explore that too and when you gave someone a gift because I'm betting I, I don't even celebrate Christmas but we do have to buy some gifts and are part of saturated in this world so there is some gift giving that you can't get out of and so I'm um, pretty much everybody is is giving some kind of gift this season so it's a perfect time to practice like when I give this gift can I drop and let everything fall away in terms of my expectations and know that once that gift is out of my hands it is no longer my business and the joy is just in the giving and then can I when I get a gift fully receive and open up and and allow it to bring me joy or be honest about whether it doesn't bring you joy and then in the bedroom start looking at your relationship where do you tip for tat is it in chores that you do is it in sexual favors that you do is it in doing things you don't want to do but you feel obligated to do and can you get honest with your partner and can you tell them that and can you open up that whole capsule of mess that's prime place for growth and evolution in your conscious connections and relationships sexual or otherwise so thanks for joining me today and whatever you celebrate this time of year happy solstice to you namaste